Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is Madam, and I'm coming back to you once again. This time, we're going to go over to Whiskey Riff. And uh, this is a case that I've been following for the last couple of weeks or so. Um, very puzzling indeed. Um, if you haven't heard, uh, there was a group of friends that chose to go over to another friend's house. And unfortunately, a few of them passed away. Okay, but we'll get more into it. Uh, the article writer is will be listed, excuse me, in the description as always. And it says NFL brother reveals one of the f- Chiefs fans frozen to death was discovered sitting in a lawn chair. I'm looking into everything. Last week, we were hit with the shocking and confusing news that three Kansas City Chiefs fans had frozen to death in the backyard of their friend, their friend's rental property on January the 9th. Only two days later, after gathering to watch the Chiefs play the Chargers, among the deceased, 38-year-old Ricky Johnson, 37-year-old David uh, Harrington, and 36-year-old Clayton McGinney. Although Kansas City Police initially said that this was not being investigated as a homicide, things aren't really adding up. Yeah, because it's a lot of... I we have no idea. But continuing on, it says their friend Jordan Willis, who is a well-respected HIV scientist, claims that he has been asleep he had been asleep in the house for two days and had not had no clue that his friends were locked outside of his house freezing to death he also noted that he never received any texts or calls uh from his friends and the only in the and only on facebook messenger however family members of the deceased say that they tried to get a hold of Willis over the couple of days they were missing, only to no response. Mm. Okay. Not to mention, a fifth friend who was there that night said the four of them were inside on the couch watching Jeopardy before he left. A handful of family members believe that Willis may have drugged the the three friends at the scene, something they weren't supposed to see, and leaving them out in the freezing temperatures to perish while they were knocked out. With uh, that being said, Ricky Johnson's brother, Jonathan Price, is revealing more details about his brother was found a deceased. Price told News Nation's Chris Como on Monday. He also noted that uh, Harrington was found on a lawn chair on the back porch rather than all three laying flat, which paints a picture we didn't have from the very beginning. Price also ripped the Kansas City police, suggesting that the three may have unknowingly taken an unknown substance i am not saying there was or was not a crime but if you immediately suspect no foul play then you should have a story you should have something to tell the families and for no one to hear anything that doesn't make any sense totally understandable totally understandable okay it is, the, it is the same every day with the lack of answers and the, uh, the inability to truly mourn without any cause. It's just, a ver- it's just very difficult. I don't think I've ever moved on until I mean, really, I've never moved on, but especially not knowing what happened to my brother. I want to be involved more. I mean, rightfully so, you know, um, I would feel that any person that has lost a family member in those types of circumstances would want to know any and all details of how, you know, their demise came to be. So, 
Uh, it continues on when he says, my mother and Ricky's father, they want to be involved more and were just not getting answers from anyone. Even the people that claim they, they're doing the investigation. And this is a tweet. I will definitely link this down in the description so you can go check that out. Um, it says, as for Willis, a close source to him says that he is struggling with all of the accusations pointed in his direction. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> okay. Not only is the whole country accusing him of murdering his friends without <laughs> factual details, evidence, or any ch um, charges at this time, but he also lost three close friends. He didn't get to say goodbye or go to their funerals due to the circumstances of these wild speculations and accusations. No one seems to be willing to wait for the results of the toxicology report or wait for any other facts from the police department from a case that is still under investigation to make these speculations. The vitriol is awful and I think people are afraid to speak up for him because of how uh, vicious people are with these speculations. Toxicology reports for the deceased are still pending. I will also link this uh, video as well in the description so you can go check that out as well. Um, but yeah, that is the end of the article as it stands. Um, very troubling, very puzzling, a great mystery indeed. You know, how do you have, you know, have friends over for a game, you know, only for one to leave. And when he left, he said, well, all of them was on the, you know, couch watching TV and chilling and stuff like that. Um to you know three of them ending up in the backyard frozen to death and that's like really crazy like what happened uh were there any camera systems in place uh i mean just a couple of questions that i have off the top of my head was there a camera system in place uh to monitor the outside of the house were you know given how the backyard is constructed did it have a privacy gate where people couldn't see over it or into it. Um, you know, things that I would ask and stuff like that. And the toxicology report. I mean, we do you do have to wait to see what the results of that is going to be. Um, that's a process within itself. Um, depending on, you know, who's conducting it and what state is being conducted in, you know. So, um, yeah, it's really crazy. But let me know your thoughts and opinions about it. Uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to the families of the people uh, they lost. You know, uh, I hope that they truly do get some answers in the end, you know. So, um, with that being said, drop down in the comment section as we always do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And um, with that, you guys, I will get with you in the next one.